The Sound Lab. 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 Experimenting with the best new music. Jimmy from uh, Higher Power. What's up, Jim? Uh, yeah, good. Jim from the radio. That's it. <laughs> Jimmy from Higher Power. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're here on tour. Yeah. Beartooth. Amity Affliction. Yeah. Looking forward to it? Yeah, it's sick. Because we've just done a couple of days in yeah. Europe. And it's, it's, these are the biggest shows we've ever played as a band. So, yeah, I'm stoked. I'm stoked to come play them in the UK. And yeah. we've not played in the UK since our record came out. So... I'm super excited. This is it first night in the first UK. First night in the UK since the record's Yeah, I'm out. sure it's going to go down well. We could, you, you would hope so. You'd hope so. You'd hope so. I'm sure it will. <laughs> um, <laughs> you've, you've, you've dropped it in there. Debut record's out. Yeah. Tell us about the record. Fuck. Um. <laughs> From the start right to the end. <laughs> it's called 27 Miles Underwater. And... Come in. Ethan needs you're, this you're on the ra- you're on the you're on the radio. You're on the, so, wait, just wave to the camera. Hi, camera. Do you need this one? Yeah, I just need this. I'll take it. Off. I got a jazzy one, look, no, blue yeah, one. Yeah, it's, yeah. This, yeah, it's for a different I venue you though. For no. Right, one second. I will get out of your. I'm keeping all this in as well. Yeah, you gotta keep it in. I yeah. hope so. Um, I'm Ethan. I'm goodbye. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Debut record. Debut record. <laughs> That's where we were at. Um, called 27 Miles Underwater. Mm. It's um, basically about just my experiences of being 27, pretty <laughs> much. Like, um, It took us probably two years to write. Yeah. Maybe a bit longer. And, uh, so you weren't 27 for the whole of it? No, I wasn't 27 for the whole of it, <laughs> unfortunately, isn't it? But um, I'm 28 now, yeah. so I said that it's a bit of a lie. <laughs> it's old news now. But um, yeah, it's the first record we've ever done with a producer. Yeah. Um, you know, like, yeah, first time I've ever recorded in, like, uh, that scenario where it's like you'll demo stuff and you'll work with someone you'll do pre-production you know it's like the first yeah it felt like my first real yeah recording experience rather than doing it in your bathroom yeah, and then yeah. releasing it bang there it is yeah it do yeah it was like doing i was like oh <laughs> i was like oh so this is recording a record yeah. okay but did yeah. you enjoy it more i did yeah because <laughs> i love to i love to i love to be like 100 percent fully immersed in everything i do so mm. like it was cool we we spent a whole month at the studio like recording and doing a bit of pre-production so it was like cool to be like just in yeah i get so obsessed and i get i'm like in everything i do i want to do it like intensely like yeah. so it's cool to just have that in like work environment where it's like nothing matters you know we're not at home there's nothing no distractions you're just working on the record so mm-hmm. it was fun yeah. Yeah. yeah doing it like a like a job yeah it's, it's <laughs> like yeah i feel like you know we we've, we've never recorded in in this way so like yeah. you can definitely like listening back I'm like okay I've finally recorded something where I'm like semi pleased with it so it's like cool to have that I've finally realised that mm. to get that you need to put in the work do you know what I mean yeah. so it's like yeah it was a big learning curve but it's fun yeah definitely and uh, writing wise at the moment are you are you demoing things and writing things and things like that or, or because you're on tour have you just pushed it to one side records out like, we still, yeah, we'll write, we like, we're not demoing anything properly, but me and Louis will play riffs and record them on our phones. Um, you know, like, that's pretty much how we're doing it at the moment, because since we recorded the record, we've been on tour, and then we had like two months off at Christmas, and no one saw each other, because I think that's the first time we've had longer than two weeks off in like a couple of years, so that two months we didn't really get together yeah. <laughs> you know everyone just hung out with their girlfriends and what, whatnot um you know everyone was right ri- everyone was writing little bits at home though and recording them on their phone so yeah hopefully we'll get after we got like three weeks off after this tour we're gonna try some practices and keep writing keep yeah. the ball rolling mm-hmm. so yeah we're 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 not doing nothing, but we're not. You know, we're <laughs> nothing proactive yeah. just yet. No, nothing. We got riffs. We got some stuff. Yeah. Do do you, what's the what is the plan then? Do you think you might go heavier? Do you think you might go more melodic and poppy? What's the idea in in your head? 
personally? How how would you like it to go? I don't know. It's like we didn't really have a plan for anything. So I think we're just going to keep doing that. I don't want to be like, oh, I want to keep pushing this. I keep it like it's obviously going to get more melodic, I think, just naturally because we're just going to get more confident with using melody and and writing in that structure and that dynamic. So yeah, it's it's definitely going to get like no, we the yeah we're gonna keep progressing melodically for sure. Like it's, I think that's just inevitable. But um, I definitely want to keep. I do want to write heavy songs as well. Like you know, I I'd love to write some like kind of like darker stuff as well. But then it's just like I don't want to force anything. See so, if it works. Yeah, we will just see what comes out. Really, yeah. There's nothing has ever been forced with higher power. It's like you know, it's all just based on playing together and what feels good. You know, we can we can write songs we wrote a bunch of songs that didn't get used just because they just didn't feel like it felt like we were trying too hard to sound like something else so you know we were like oh this this you know sometimes we'd be like oh we we should write we 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 should try and write like a more like hardcore like moshy song you know there's points where we've said that like when we were writing this new record you know obviously it's a it's definitely more melodic and it's definitely not as obviously like moshable (laughs) <laughs> compared to like other hardcore stuff so yeah. and there was definitely points when we'd write songs we'd try and write songs that were a little bit more hardcore and you know be like would sound more like their own soul structure and then we'd be like no this just doesn't such just this just isn't like sitting naturally with us this sounds like what we would used to play you know it's like we're trying to force like something that that's not us anymore so you know and we'd those are the songs that didn't really make it on the record and it was kind of all the wild card you know songs that just came very naturally and we didn't really think about them too much or talk about them too much mm-hmm. like that got used so yeah Excellent. yeah it's anyone's it's anyone's game yeah you know, who knows definitely you know. and uh you've got like you've just mentioned you've got a few weeks off after yeah. this what are you doing then then we're going back to america for two weeks and then we come we're, we're playing a festival there called Epicenter Festival mm-hmm. like Metallica are headlining nice so that's yeah we're going back and doing a tour around that um, and then we come home and we have we're waiting to confirm we have another tour pretty much straight after that's like 90% confirmed but I don't want to say anything yeah. about it jinx and so, it yeah and jinx it because uh, it's a bit bands have done that bands yeah. have said things on camera <laughs> and then it's been cancelled yeah so. but if it if it it's like pretty much going to happen and it's it's a big thing. It's like a big tour. So nice. It should be really cool. We just need to, you know, I just don't want to jinx it. Sign yeah. on the dotted line. Yeah, I just there. don't want to jinx it quite <laughs> yet. Yeah. yeah, and festivals. It's festival season coming up soon. Yeah. Are you hoping to be at many? What have you got lined up? Yeah, we got Download. We got Hellfest. Um, we got a car. There's a bunch in Europe that... They don't matter. Okay, yeah, I can't, really, yeah, I can't, I can't remember them all. I think, I think maybe Jer on air. Mm. Um, there's, yeah, I know, I know, download and Hellfest for sure. Um, and then there's a bunch of other European ones yeah. that, like, I can never remember. That you'll know when you're there. All. Yeah, I know. I, I, <laughs> I'm honestly the worst person to ask about this stuff because I, I'm like, my mentality on everything is pretty much just like I would go with the flow. Like, even when we have a tour, I'll rarely look at the cities we're playing. I, yeah. I just know I'm going places. It's going to be cool. <laughs> like, and I'll just get there when I get there. Yeah, do you so. know where you are today? In Brist- we're in Bristol yeah, today. Yeah. You, England's easy because I grew <laughs> up here, so I know everywhere. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I, can look at, I can look at a list of English shows literally once and be like, cool, I know those places. Yeah. Like, Europe, America, you know, unless I'm in, like, a big city or, like, a major city or, like, something like that, it's over my head. I'm... <laughs> I'm never going to remember it. So yeah. I just go in there, have a good time. Yeah, definitely. You know? And the plan for the end of this year, is it going to be touring? Is it going to be writing? A bit of both? What, what definitely writing. Are? Like we're going to, like I said, we want to keep writing because uh, we're, we're touring like all year. Like there's like, you know, we already have pretty much every month there's a tour or something going on. Um, we're trying to go to Japan and everything. So, you know, yeah, we're to- we we tour. That's what we do. So like yeah. it's that's already that side of everything's pretty much already. You know, since the record came out, it was kind of overwhelming everything that came at us. 
so I was already very much booked up to like like very like I think October or something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we're gonna we we want to keep writing. There's even been talks of recording, trying to record another single, like new song, to put out at the end of the year, which would be cool. Mm-hmm. You know, just just to keep keep that ball rolling. Like I said, so um, yeah, it's just tour and then try and write when we can. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Having a good chat with you. Yeah, thanks Cheers. for having me on the radio show. Thank you. The Sound Lab. 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 Experimenting with the best new music.